Hello Capricorn, welcome to your month of May horoscope. I'm so sorry that I was not here. Last month I was traveling and busy and I'm sorry if I'm like itching my nose. I have horrible allergies right now. So y'all know the struggle is real. <laughs> All right, so Capricorn, let's see what's going on this month for you. You are busy. You're you're laying foundations. You're like making long-term plans this month and it makes you nervous as I'll get out because you're like, okay, so I'm going to put this foundation down and that's it. And then I got to build on it. But what if I don't like the foundation? What if I don't like the color of the carpet or the flooring or the, and it's these big decisions that you, you're going to make that are going to improve your life down the road. Let's get into it. Okay, so for career, Capricorn, it's all about networking this month. It's all about getting, meeting people, getting in front of people, talking to people, getting your name out there in other people's mouths. I know that sounds really dirty, but true. Like getting into a place where you can, can really be seen and heard. And you are like, there's a, there's a little spark. And it's just, it's building to this huge, massive blaze that's going to be You've got a lot of money, career opportunities, stuff coming your way, and it's just getting started. And it's like, I've waited for 20 years, and now it's like, it's finally happening. You know, it feels like it's like this big production that's just finally happening, you know? So, there is a lot going on in that regard. Then, if you are looking for a job, it feels like that the dream job of a lifetime is going to just fall into your lap. But you're not going to trust it. It's going to be like, this is too good to be true. This is this is just this is too good to be true. I, I if I take it and I do it, and if if I hate it, then my dream is shattered, and I'm afraid to do it. Kind of like that foundation. Like if I take it, if I do it. And what if I hate it? Who cares? Do it. Create new dreams. But if you don't jump and try it, you will never forgive yourself. So if you find this, this amazing opportunity that you have to wait two months to start or, I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of water tied to this, a lot of emotion like I've wanted to do. Maybe you're graduating college or high school or something where it's like, I've been waiting for so long to do this thing and it's going to lead me to all these other things. Be proud of yourself. Even if you're not employed right now, you are having the strength to go out there and, and fight for the job that you want. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so non-romantical relationships. Romantical? Non-romantic. I can talk. So friends, family, acquaintances. Capricorn. It feels like that you're a little nervous or a little shy uh, or a little kind of uncertain about certain people right now. It's like, I'm all about the new people. Like, I, I can, I, but the people, the, the, the old friends, family, that kind of thing, it's kind of like, I just, there's, there's something that's in the past that is causing you to pause. Or you've got like a family reunion coming up or something or like a high school reunion. Something about the past. The past and the future, the present, merging and creating a healthier future. So say maybe you didn't speak to your parents for a while and there's something coming up where you have to speak to them or something. It's going to be much easier than you think or much better than you think. But you can't do whatever this, this thing the past is to heal the future unless you forgive yourself or unless you give yourself some self-love. There's something about you that needs to be healed. And only you can heal that. Whether it's the anger or the guilt or whatever it might be. Start the month with figuring out what you're feeling about family and friends. It's kind of holding you back from connecting with them. And then once you understand that, then you can kind of focus on, okay, I can let go of this 10-year anger about something or other or I could let go of the fact that my parents never really I was never the golden child or I was never whatever it was you know 
And then when you talk to your person about it, then they'll open up and maybe you'll have this amazing bond that you didn't, you couldn't have imagined having, you know, having last year or a month ago. Okay. Romantic relationships, Capricorn. You are, are kind of feeling adrift um, in the sense that it's kind of like I'm really too busy right now for my partner. I love them, but, like, I don't have the time. And you need to put pencil your partner in because they're going to feel it and go, well, then I'll just go someplace else if they don't have time for me. Or, well, then I'll just do my own thing. And then you're like, well, don't you have time for me? Well, you didn't have time for me. You know, so make the time in May because by June, it may be too late. And they may, they may just be it's like, ah, you know, I'm just going to be doing my own thing because you're busy. So take the time for your partner. Create a little date night or something fun that you can do that kind of really shows them that you care. For my single Pringle, Capricorns, you're just kind of in a place of like, yeah, I'm just, I'm really good with where I'm at. Like, I don't need anything else right now. I'm just, my bag is full. I am, my cup runneth over. Like, I mean, if something comes along, great. But, like, I don't have time to go looking for love. Like, love can just come out of the sky and bop me on the head and be like, yeah, Cupid, hey, cool. But, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not going to go looking for that right now. I don't have time for that. Um, in regards to finances... Um, I do feel like right now it's, it's a great time for you to make money, Capricorn, like a great time for you to start again, laying that foundation. You're creating these lines of connection that's going to lead back and forth and feed into it. And I feel like there's a lot of money that can be made, honestly, in a way that it's almost like with one little one word, one little spark, you're going to have all these little connections that will lead for years and years and years to come. But you have to be honest with yourself and with whomever these connections are with. Because then if you get a bad name for yourself, it's, it's going to be curtains for you, babes. So stay honest with that. Okay, health. Hmm. Okay, so for you... Capricorn, it's almost like allergies, sinuses, um, the, the, the jaw, again, the left side, the upper left side of the jaw, um, there's some stomach stuff, but it's almost like, um, inflammation or like irritation with the stomach, like maybe, you know, be really careful what you eat, um, because it's almost like gonna affect you in, not, that you're going to like, you know, poop your pants, but it's like almost like you're going to be really bloated and uncomfortable. So if you know that there's something that you shouldn't be eating, don't eat it. You're going to hate yourself in the end for it because you're going to feel miserable, especially if it's like a big day is coming up, like a wedding or something. Like don't go eat like, you know, a pound of queso the night before the wedding and then be bloated and be miserable and just not be able to enjoy it. You know what I mean? So that is all I have for you, my loves. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a magical month, and I'll see you next time.